Hello, my name is Michelle Cho and I'm a Korean American sculptor that was born and raised in Seattle, Washington. Currently I reside in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania where I am an MFA candidate at the University of Pennsylvania studying primarily sculpture. For the pieces kind of shown in this exhibition, I was really working with the ideas of repetition being a form of concealment or protection. I was working materially with a lot of sticky materials like rubber, rubber bands, latex and plastic adhesives and I was beginning to see my physical body within the making of the pieces. I was seeing remnants of my hair strands or dust particles with skin particles that were really brushing up against the objects that I was creating and the presence of my body just became more hypersensitive and the presence of my body being that of a Korean American female. The night before, I was reading a book about comfort women and I think reading that book alongside making these pieces, I think it became about this inability or this, this wrong, inappropriate feeling of being able to kind of navigate freely as a Korean American female alongside the syncopated history of that of the comfort woman. Um, this allowed me to think about how history is kind of passed down from Koreans to Korean Americans and how this kind of separation of land creating this definite offbeat of transferred information thus kind of increasing that cultural displacement of sorts. Um, I wanted to create these DNA strands and by coiling these rubber bands with my skin and my hair that was sticking to the objects um, I was almost accumulating these DNA strands of that of Koreans and Korean Americans kind of just being one and filling them inside of plastic orbs just felt like a way of really delineating and marketing my boundaries and space of that of a Korean American. Hi, my name is Yoon Gyeongjo. I'm fiber textile and installation artist. I do various types of fiber and textile works, such as lip sculpture, installation, and even outdoor sculpture. My most of work focus on critical viewpoint of human life. Inspired by personal near-death experience, I am keep asking what is the purpose of human life. It could be find out from nature, aura, identity, heritage, and even everyday stuff. Currently, I'm working on my project is about marking on the moment. Take the Korean traditional painting checkery composition and restructures it into a modern checkery, which is a work that embodies the daily trajectories of everyday life in textiles. Mixture with various techniques such as crochet, sewing, and embroidery to create each part of a whole work. Pretty much like a jigsaw puzzle. My name is Sammy Lee. I'm a first generation immigrant artist based in Denver, Colorado. In the studio, I keep my hands busy in water, soaking, squeezing, kneading, and pounding layers of paper. And the paper I use is Hanji from Korea. Preparing what I call a paper skin is a labor-intensive yet cathartic process. My time and effort transform once fragile and delicate sheets into a leather-like solid substrate that is resilient and tough, yet luminous. They're beautiful. Then paper skins take the shape of forms, becoming a hollow representation of the original piece. Other times, I wrap objects such as suitcases and discarded shop signs to create three-dimensional sculptures. The textures with creases and scar-like markings resulting from my own labor and the weight of water that was once there also add additional meanings. 
Typically, these works uh, question social cultural issues surrounding a sense of belonging, home, the foreign body, cross cultural、uh, psychology, and of course, immigration. My name is Josephine Lee. My work is predominantly informed by my lifetime of moving through and between the United States, Canada, and South Korea. I examine ideas surrounding how we are physically and psychically impacted through cultural assimilation and naturalization through migration. I, in particular, am interested in how notions of home and belonging are constructed and how they are then in turn entangled within broader narratives of race and nationalism. A lot of my work pulls from a historical moment or place, and I use that as a point of reference for. Uh, examining present day social, political,、uh, and cultural conditions. I use whatever materials and methods that serve my work best, which can range from ceramics to weaving, glasswork, and performance. I like working in parts, putting a lot of time into figuring out what material, shape, or gesture is necessary for a piece, and then pulling all the elements together in a space to see how they interact with one another. I imagine these as open ended invitations for the viewer to puzzle over and pull their own conclusions from. I think that's what compels my work the most. It's this notion of a poetic proposal that the work not only has、uh, something to say, but says it in a sort of visual verse. And so the empty space within a work, however that manifests itself, is something that's important for me to keep. In order to allow for and encourage interpretation. In addition to these narratives that complicate history and current lived experience, these days a lot of my work、um, fixates around the transcultural precarity of immigrant families and how materials and gestures can reconfigure our connections and understandings to the idea of place and placelessness. 안녕하세요. 최혜림입니다 Hello, my name is Halem Choi Allen, and I am a painter and an installation artist. Depending on the theme of a body of work or an exhibition, I may exclusively show one or both types of work. In my studio practice, I create not only painting and installation works, but also large scale drawings, sculpture, castings, and anything I can use to ideate and generate pieces. Whether they become the final pieces or not. As a painter, in addition to the traditional medium of oil, I enjoy experimenting with a variety of materials, including layering charcoal drawings over and under acrylic paint. As an installation artist, I research and do numerous sketches and collect materials to best resonate with the concept. For example, one of my most recent works of art dealing with place and identity, I researched and procured a variety of traditional Korean paper, hanji, to use in my insulation work. I tested the various samples with drawing and ink materials and found that they could be used just as a material part of a whole rather than as a surface to paint or draw upon. When applied with adhesive, some diluted with water, the paper could be more translucent while others could retain their opacity. My interest in linking the materials, their inherent physical qualities, along with personal implications and cultural associations, and additionally with the intent of layering the work's numerous connotations, all these aspects are evident in all of my pieces. The exact configuration of the insulation works depends on the physical site of the space. It informs the manner in which I engage the space, whether it is a doorway, corner, a pillar, or any other architectural feature that will enhance the work. My insulation pieces have never been in the same configuration. I look forward to working again with the space at the Korean Cultural Center. It's been a while since I have been back to show there. One piece in particular requested by the curator is one that I have shown there many years ago in a different part of the gallery. I look forward to installing it again and engaging with the space once more. 
It is akin to a coming home since I grew up in the DC suburbs through my college years and beyond. 